guys so in today's video I want to share with you some of my favorite plants and some plants that I just wish I didn't have in my collection so let's get into it so up first I am going to be showing you the plants that are my least favorite in my collection and the first two are going to be my silver squills I am not in love with these plants I wasn't when I first got them it was just hey another plant to add to my collection and I don't want to be like that anymore so these two have made the list I got them for $3.95 each and I think I'm going to plant them together in a cute planter and gift them to my grandmother because plants make her happy so they're going to another house all right, the next plant is the Nemanthus goldfish plant. I got this plant for $3. I am not sure how long I've had this plant, but I've had it long enough where it should have put out new growth. It should have done something, but it has not. I, I know when I first got it, I put it too close to a window and it has leaf damage then i have changed the medium and that still has not helped with new growth i water it um it's just not doing anything for me anymore and i think this is going to just go to another household as well hey at least it's better than throwing it away um so the fourth plant on this list is going to be my apicia trailing violet um it has very beautiful coloration however comma it's boring it's i don't know i don't know what i was thinking when i got this plant i got it for 4.95 i really feel like i wasted my money on this plant but um I don't know I don't have anything good to say about this plant so let's move on all right last up on the I mean this plant isn't bad guys don't get me wrong it's not bad it's just I really wanted the pepperomia painted lady and I got the burgundy purple one hoping that it would satisfy my want of the plant but it has not um, I don't take really good care of this plant. I don't want this plant anymore, to be honest. Um, I mean, I water it because it's there, but if I don't see it, I totally forget about it. Sorry, plant. Um, but yeah, I really want the painted lady, so bye. <laughs> All right, next up is going to be the plants that are giving me my entire life. Plants that I can't take my eyes off of. They're giving me so much joy. And first up is going to be my Ruby Rubber Plant. And I love the colors. It has so many growth points on it. Um, I just, I don't know. This plant, I first saw this plant on Crazy Plant Guy's channel. And... I mean, his is humongous, but it just made me really want one of the plants. I love the red tones. I love the orangey tones. I just love the camouflage look of this plant, and that's why I made the list. Next up is going to be my Hoya Tricolor, a.k.a. Crimson Princess. I love the variegated leaves. I love the pink stem. It has new growth coming in right here. Here's a second one. And then here is, can you see it? The third. It's an easy care plant. It doesn't take much to take care of this plant. I have it in my greenhouse and it is thriving. She's living her best life. I don't have a name for her. Sorry, maybe you guys can put a name for her in the comments. But I love this plant. All right, the next four plants 
I am very grateful to have in my collection. I thought I was going to have to wait mm, a year to two years to get these plants in my area in Delaware, but I snagged them. And first up is going to be my, oh my God, brain fart, um, Hoya Cubicalyx Splash Speckled, but here it is. This plant is so pretty in person. Look at this leaf right here. I mean, ooh. And I know it says on the description that if you give it the correct amount of sunlight that the silver turns pink. So I'm looking forward to this, to that, to this. And I keep this plant in my greenhouse. So hopefully my grow lights are strong enough that it's able to turn the silver into pink. And if it does, I will let you guys see. I will take pictures and post it on my Instagram, which is at Mrs. Autumn Gardener. So check me out and follow me. Um, Next up is going to be my variegated Macrophylla Hoya. I love the feel of the leaves. They're thick. They're not quite cardboard. I, I don't know how to describe, but it's a great plant. And I just purchased this, so there's no new growth, but I will keep you guys updated. All right, so behind me, I finally have a raven, ZZ. And I am so happy with this plant. I purchased this plant from my local Lowe's for $18.96, I believe. And it is just a great plant to have. I love how the new shoots, I hope that's what you call them, I'm not sure, turns to black. I just think that is so neat how it gradually fades to this black. And I couldn't ask for a better plant. It's so easy. I really believe you only have to water this once a month in the winter time. And I just have this by my north facing window. Okay. Last up. Guys. When I walked into the greenhouse and saw this plant. I just could not believe that it was sitting right there and I could just reach out and touch it. And the plant is my Alocasia Maharani. Guys, look at this. The leaves, all the texture is amazing. Look at the back of the leaf. I am so happy with this plant. I just purchased this plant. I would have to say maybe four days ago. This is the newest leaf and it was already um, unfurling when I purchased it. So that is the newest leaf. I'm very happy with this plant. I'm just going to keep looking at it for, I know it can get thrips, maybe mealybugs, maybe spider mites. I'm not sure, but I've heard of people getting thrips. So I will Keep a lookout. So I'm just happy for this plant to be in my collection. Like, oh my God. I stare at this plant every day, all day. And I'm just happy. So guys, that is the end of this video. I had a great time filming it. Um, what was your guys' favorite plant or least favorite plant that I've showed you? Please leave your girl a message in the comments. Please like and subscribe and just thank you for tuning in and just have a great day and I am out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.